Okay, so the first few videos in this series, I just used my cell phone. But I brought out the new, the nice camera, because uh, I'm very excited about this. Um, so if you've been watching this series, uh, I've been creating uh, little flash drives that have shell scripts on them. And my new Mazda 3, new, it's a 2016, uh, you can plug in that flash drive and it will run the script. And I've been trying to pull information off it uh, and get the Wi-Fi going and stuff like that to... Um, so I can get a shell and do more. But it's kind of a pain because I'd write a script, I put it on there, a script, I put it in there, wait for it to run, take it back and see if it worked properly and dump the information to the flash drive. Um, then I uh, ran a script that was supposed to start the Wi-Fi uh, and it enabled the Wi-Fi. I could find it under devices. I'll show you here in a second. But I was, uh, I couldn't see it and it wasn't picking up any access points. So then I read online how to enable the car as an access point. And I discovered something even better. This part's gonna be a little awkward to film, but if I hold down the music button, the favorite button, and the mute button, which is this knob here, for a few seconds, this test screen comes up. And if you hold down the delete button for 15 to 20 seconds, I'm gonna try to move in here, this black box here is gonna go from saying status window to saying, uh, JCI something or other. Let's wait for it. I know you can't really see it in the camera. Waiting for it. There we go. Uh, JCI test mode. So JCI, um, if I haven't mentioned in previous videos, the people who made this interface for Mazda, it's Johnson Control. So I'm assuming this Johnson Control interface. Once you see that JCI, so there you see it says JCI test mode. Once you see that, you type one, one, enter and it brings up this menu. And if I click next, there's an option to enable uh, or Wi-Fi access point toggle. And I did do that and I did see it on my phone. I haven't tried connect to it yet because the next thing I realize is this little button here that says terminal. And when I click that, I get myself a root Linux shell. Now, I could not get out of the shell <laughs> while I was out because I actually tried this while I was out somewhere in a parking lot. Uh, but I drove home and I was still able to listen to my music using the controls on the dash here, but none of the controls would be able to get me into any menus. Uh, but I have plugged in a USB keyboard and I'm able to run command. Now, HTOP doesn't seem to be installed, but TOP does. And as I mentioned in the previous video where I was pulling stuff off with the USB drive, it had a pretty full version of BusyBox on there, as well as a Chirrut, which is going to be fun. Um, but it had all the core tools, even a web server on there, and now I have the Wi-Fi enabled. I can access it. That means I can make web interfaces for this and control my car with my phone. <laughs> you know, um, years ago, before Michael Jackson passed away, I remember watching a little documentary video of him, and uh, Michael Jackson was raised as a Jehovah's Witness, and so he never celebrated Christmas, and as an adult one year, uh, I think it was Elizabeth Taylor, uh, had him celebrate Christmas morning for the first time. And uh, you watching that video, Michael Jackson's acting like a little kid, and it's ridiculous. He seems like a psychopath, so giddy and stuff. But today, I, I, I understand how he feels. I literally bought a car that I knew was running like, but I had, and I thought maybe I could get a shell on it but I had no clue it would be that easy. A few key presses. The first couple of videos in the series using the flash drive, oh, you know, that's that's good to know. But why do any of that when you can just press a couple of keys on the dash, click a but couple buttons on the screen, and get yourself a root shell on here? So next thing is, of course, to back everything up and then get Debian running on here. So I hope you're enjoying this series. I am excited about this. I mean, literally, I wish the salesperson told me that you could do this because if he did, I wouldn't have wanted any other car, <laughs> you know?